Welcome to Stop Emotional Eating. I want to start with an important reminder. These are not diet tools. These are do-it tools. You are really going to do it. You're going to change how and why you eat in a permanent way. In fact, if and when you go to talk about this program with friends and family, I don't want you to call it a diet. I want you to call it a permanent paradigm shift. You can tell people that you're doing a permanent paradigm shift. What I hate about the expression to go on a diet, it implies at some point you're going to go off the diet. And that's why I prefer you say you're on a permanent paradigm shift. Another reason why I dislike the word diet, it has lots of negative associations. I hear the word diet and I think, lots of pain ahead. This program is actually going to be fun. I've gamified a lot of the tools. I've made them feel like games. Uh, So it will feel fun to retrain your brain and start to crave healthier foods and more self-loving habits. Another reason why I don't want you to call this a diet program is because the emphasis in this program is not actually on losing weight, believe it or not. It's on losing negative emotions, losing negative thoughts around food. You will find when you lose these things, then the weight will follow. With this in mind, I'm not going to be giving you a specific diet plan. I believe we all kind of know what we have to eat and not eat the do's and do nots. Um, In fact, they're so obvious that I even jokingly call them the does and the duh not. It's pretty obvious what's unhealthy. If you're binge eating, stress eating right now, it's not because you don't know what to eat and not eat. Knowledge is not the problem. Lack of discipline and lack of motivation and lack of self-love, those are the issues. We all know what to eat and not eat. We need better discipline, better motivation, and more self-love. I developed this program because I'm a recovered stress eater. I've been there and I've gobbled up too much of that. Food has always been my go-to tool for when I'm feeling under pressure. And in fact, let me take a little time here to tell you about my story. When I was pregnant, I gained over 80 pounds. That's me in this photo, and that is not a pillow. Another photo, and also not a pillow. After my son was born, uh, that's him, Ari, I continued to stress eat for the first couple years of mommyhood. To be honest, Being a mom made me very anxious. I I wanted to be the best mom I could be, and plus I was trying to figure out how to juggle in my work life. I was having trouble with the life-mommy-work balance. So I was overeating but in denial for a long time, and one day I went shopping, and I kept trying on a dress in a bigger size and then in a bigger er size. And I said to the saleswoman, oh, I guess I still need to lose my pregnancy weight. And she said, oh, you just had a baby? How old? And I said, two. And she said, oh, two months. They're so cute at that age. And then I had to correct her and say, uh, no, two years. <laughs> and hearing me say out loud that my pregnancy weight was, um, two years going on now, I became very aware that I should probably not be calling this extra weight pregnancy weight. I should call it what it was. I eat too much crappy food weight. Soon after this uh, close encounter of the embarrassing kind, um, I went to the doctor and I got on the scale and I was shocked by the number on the scale. And then I was even more shocked to learn that I had high cholesterol. I was always somebody that worked out and was healthy, and I kind of went into crisis mode when I heard this. Around the same time, my friend and colleague Jonathan Fields interviewed me, and I wore this little moo-moo of an outfit, 
And when I saw the video, I could see how I was just trying to cover up the extra weight. There's at this point at least over 20 pounds on me. And I'm only five foot three, so that, that means a lot on my frame. Now, here's a photo of me three months after the Jonathan Fields interview where I wore that moo moo. I lost over 20 pounds in three months. And I'm here to share with you the research and the tools which helped me to not only lose the weight in three months, but keep the weight off for many years counting. I'm excited to share with you how I went on my permanent paradigm shift so you can go on your permanent paradigm shift. Meet you in the next lecture. Let's get started.